What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool original trick I came up with. And uh, it's very cool. Um, it involves four of a kind, one of my favorite kind of tricks to do. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get straight into the trick. Okay, guys, so over here we have the four fives. We're going to get into them in just a second. But first, I would hand the cards over to the spectator and have them shuffle up these cards all they want to. So once the spectator is done shuffling, I would ask for the deck back and just have them select a card. So let's say they go with this one. Um, normally I wouldn't look at it, but it's okay in this case. It's not a spectator. We have the Jack of Clubs, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take the Jack of Clubs and just simply put it somewhere in the middle. As you can see, it's going somewhere in the middle of the deck. All right. So over here, uh, we have the four fives. As you can see, uh, one, two, three, four fives, just like that. We're going to go ahead and take them. And we're going to do something pretty cool with them. As for here, we have the deck. I'm going to lay it right here. And one at a time, I'm going to try and make these one, two, three, four, five. Just jump one at a time to this deck. Um, so go ahead. Snap my fingers just like that. One of the fives jumps um, to the top of this deck. And I have the other three right here just like that. Okay? So as you can see, I only have one, one fives here. And I have one, two, three fives here just like that. Okay, so now we only have one, two, three fives. Lay the deck right here. And again, as you can see, I have one, two, three fives just like that. All I have to do is snap my fingers just like that. One of the fives jumps uh, on top of this deck. And now I'm only left with two fives just like that. Okay? So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these next two. I'm actually going to have you uh, cover this deck if you want to. The spectator would put their hand on top of this deck and since I have a spectator I'll use the box as their hand. This way I cannot touch it and you know I cannot. So again over here I have the two fives just like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just simply snap my fingers and I would allow the spectator to remove their hand and they could remove this five and it would be a five just like that and I'm actually only left now with one five just like that. And the spectator could examine this and they would confirm that this really only is one Five, okay, so um, now we have only one five left. We're gonna do something a little different with this five Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take it and we're just gonna simply lay it right here Okay, right here. I'm gonna take the deck and wave over it just like that And what that should do is make the final five jump on top of the deck just like that So now we have all four fives and you're probably wondering what this card now is. Well, it's actually your Jack of clubs, so that was a trick guys and now let's learn how to do it Okay guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick you just saw. This has probably become one of my most favorite tricks to perform, and it's just really cool. It's good reaction, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull out any four of a kind. Now I do say any four of a kind, but I do not recommend you use court cards in this case. Because in this trick you're going to be showing a lot of the same card, trying to pull it out that you're showing a different card. So you're going to be having, basically you might be showing the five of clubs twice, making it like you're showing the five of clubs and five of spades. So you kind of want a card that looks the same besides the suit and that's a number card if you were to use something like an ace you can easily tell the difference between the ace of clubs i will find it not to cut this part out but i will find it ace of spades you can easily tell the difference between the ace of spades whereas if i had to try to pull off the ace of spades as the clubs and the spades you would be able to tell what's going on and if i was able to try and pull off the clubs and the spades as the clubs and the spades you would be able to tell what's going on and with court cards and face cards sometimes they're one-eyed sometimes they're different the best thing to do is just use um, number cards so I want the fives in this case so just use any number you want in between two and nine so once you have a number card what you're going to do is you're going to rearrange them from uh, black and red so you don't want them interlaced you don't want uh, black black red red black or red black black red you want either red, red, black, black, or black, black, red, red. I usually like to start off with the reds on top, but it doesn't matter. So, start off separated by color, and now you're going to begin the trick. So, you're going to go ahead and let the spectator shuffle up these cards. So, once they're shuffled, you're going to make have them make a selection. So, in this case, let's just say it's this one. Uh, the Ten of Clubs, you wouldn't normally want to look at this card, but it's okay in this case because it's the tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to control this card to the top. What I did in the performance was I did a top change. So I did uh, took their card and 
switched it for the top card. So now their card's on top, and I have this random card. And I'm just going to put it in the middle, but it looks like I'm taking their card and putting it in the middle. That's a little advanced. It's going to take a little bit of practice. Um, so what I recommend doing if you're a beginner or not very good at doing the top change, just simply take the card, push in and down at the same time, catching a break, do a double undercut, taking half the cards below the break, moving it to the top, taking the cards at the break, moving it to the top, and you just control that card to the top just like that. Use any control you want because I know you guys know plenty of controls to control the card to the top of the deck. Okay? So now once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to get a push-off pinky break. All I really like to do is just simply hold my wrist down just like that and do a push-off pinky break just like that. As I go to grab these fives, and you're going to show off the fives, place them on top, pick up everything at the break. So now you have all, now you have the four fives and their card. So you just stole off the four fives and their card. And you're going to peel off this five and use the rest of this packet to flip it over, showing off that you have the four fives. Don't name the cards. I don't say five of diamonds, five of hearts, because um, you don't want them to really... Memorize the order of these cards because as I said you're gonna kind of be showing off the same cards um, Twice trying to pull it off as if it's a different card. So what basically all I want you to do is just count the cards. So one two Three and now this is a double you're using the packet to flip over the cards and then you have this double So you're simply just going to lay it on top and flip this card over So now you're in this position if we flip over the cards I can show you You have two red fives then two black fives with their card in between it, just like that. So now you're going to push off four cards. So they think you're pushing off the four fives. You're going to lay these down to the side. So they think you have the four fives, but actually what you have are three fives with their card in between it, and one of the fives you have ditched on top of the deck, just like that. Okay? So now you're going to flip over, and you're going to explain what you're going to do. You're going to make one at a time the cards jump from this pack to the top of this deck. So again, you're going to show off that you have four of the fives by doing an Elmsley count. So basically, I'm not going to go in-depth in the Elmsley count because that's a pretty difficult move to cover and this. So that would be a separate video in its own. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can learn how to do the Elmsley count. Um, so you can go watch that if you don't know how to do it and then come back here. If you do know how to do the Elmsley count, great. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So you're going to do an Elmsley count. I'm going to go over it really briefly here. Um, you're going to hold the cards in middle grip, peel off the card just about not even a quarter of an inch, like an eighth of an inch. And you're going to now grab the cards in, in, in the middle of the cards here with your thumb and your two fingers on the back. You're going to peel off this top card, push off these two cards as one. So you're pushing off the double there, five and their card as one card. They will stay together for the most part. You're going to uh, reload this card at the bottom, grabbing it with those two fingers, and you're going to grab this double as one. So now you grab this double, and you're going to grab off the next two cards. So you just showed this five of hearts twice, okay? And that's why you want to have it red, uh, red, red, black, black, or whatever, because you don't want to ha make it look like you have three black cards or one red card or something. You want to make it like you have two uh, black cards and two red cards. So you just had this one on top, and then you moved it to the bottom and all that, and now it looks like you have... Uh, four fives and you just hid their card just like that. So now their cards on the bottom of these fives What you're going to do is you're after you show them off You're going to riffle down one two cards and hold a break just like that So now you're holding a break above this double just like that Okay, and now you're going to snap your fingers or whatever and show that one of the fives has jumped on top of the deck And after you're holding this double your pinky is just going to kind of hold on to this double Making sure it's squared up and your thumb's going to push off these cards. So it looks like you just spread off the cards. And in reality, you're holding this double with your pinky and the base of your thumb here. And they're what's keeping these cards squared up. And your index finger is helping a little bit as well. So spread off just like this. So you have three cards. You're going to show you have one. You're going to take your hand down. Hold these two cards in this hand. Use your thumb to two, three, just like that. So now you kind of have this visual. You only have three cards going down the vertical line just like that. And they're going to square it, everything up. Flip it over, place it on top, and as you place it on top, you're not going to take your hand away. As you place it on top, you're going to pick up the deck. Because it's weird if you just place it on top, talk, and then pick the deck up again. If you just simply place it on top and then pick up the deck, you kind of just have a reason to pick the deck up. Because you're setting these on top and not picking it up. So now you're going to spread off one, two, three cards. You're ditching uh, one of the fives yet again. And now their card, you have the two fives here and their card on top of them just like that. But you want... Uh, to get this card in between the two fives. So what you're going to do is kind of a, um, a modified frustration count. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip over, show this bottom card, peel out the bottom card, lay it down. Flip over, show this five of clubs, peel off the top card, which is their card, lay it down, and then show this five of clubs again. And you're not obviously you're not going to name the cards. So show the bottom, 
peel the bottom off, show the bottom again, peel the top off, show this card again. So hopefully, um, you kind of want to do it quick. You don't want to be super quick, but you don't want to be really slow either. Give them a good chance to look at it. You just want to be five of hearts. Five, or don't say the name, obviously. So you just want to be like three, five, just like that. Okay, so you want to be a little quick. So you kind of just want to be not giving them a really good chance to look at it good, okay? Or they will catch on that this is the five of clubs, or this is the five of clubs you're showing twice. Okay, so just like that. So it looks like you have three fives. You're not even going to miss a beat. You're not going to kind of give them time to think about it. You're going to be like, and just like this, we're going to snap our fingers, and the other five should jump. Okay? And now you have, what you're going to do is you still have three cards here. You're going to peel off this top card just like that, and then hold this double and middle grip, and show up both cards just to kind of show to the spectator just like that. that now we only have two cards just like that and you're holding this double don't let it separate or they will realize it's only one card so once you're in this position what you're going to do is you're simply going to lay this down then this down square everything up and now you're just going to do a little bit of talking so we made two cards so far so that leaves us with now you're just going to take them straight off the top so you're not going to pick up the deck this time you're just going to take the card straight off the top so now you just picked up a five picked up their card and you've ditched this random five on top of the deck just like that okay so now, what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of show off that you have two cards. And you obviously can't show both of them, so you're only going to show one of them. So, you're say, so we have the two fives here. And when you say five, you're going to show that one five. So, you're say, so we have two fives here just like that. And you're going to put it on the bottom. And now you're going to flip your hand over just like that. And you're going to get this uh, card underneath it into Gambler's Cop. If you don't know how to do Gambler's Cop, I'm going to go over it briefly. But again, if you need to know how to do the Gambler's Cop move, I will leave a link in the description where you can learn that hand slight. Come back here. Um, it's a palming technique. It's how you palm a card. It looks a little something like that. I'll go over it really briefly, but basically all you're doing is you're using your thumb to riffle down, catch a break just like that. Move this card to about um, the little gap in between your middle and your ring finger, just about right here. And then you're going to pick this back up, and now from front view, this card is covering this card, and you have this card behind that five of clubs, just like that. Okay? So they think you have two cards here. You get this card copped, just like that, okay? And you're hiding it. Practice this in the mirror so you don't flash this card behind it, okay? So you're going to, again, just snap your fingers, and what you're, you're going to show that... One five is laying here. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring this down to your side. Or if you were sitting at a table like I was, you're just going to simply kind of bring it underneath the table just like that. Just be careful not to flash this card. Bring this down to your side. You can practice in the mirror so you know not to flash. And you can literally hand this card to them. This really only is one card. They can examine it. Once you're done, you're going to bring this back. Really, you need to practice the part in a mirror. This does take a little bit of practice so you don't flash whenever you square back up. Because now you have this card cop still. It's down at your side. They're showing off this card. You're going to square everything back up just like this and be very careful not to flash so you're just simply going to bring it back square it up and bring it back forward just like that it's best to kind of turn your body and use your whole hand to kind of help do that so that way it's covering up most of the squaring up action just like that because you're obviously not going to get it perfect the first time so again practice that in the mirror to find out where you need to kind of turn your body to make it invisible so now you have a double here they think it's one card you're going to flip it over being careful not to flash lay this deck down and put it and just simply pick it right back up just like that okay so now you're going to sh do a double lift to make it like their card is on top so you're going to go ahead flip over the double and say so we only have one five left and what you're really doing is you're covering up um that ten of clubs just like that their card so really that double is whole is uh covering their card so you can say we had the five is the last card you're gonna flip the double back over lay this card down they think this is the five but it's actually their card and now their five or the five is still on top and their cards here on the ground you're gonna simply wave the deck over it or kind of that kind of motion whatever you want to do to make the card switch snap your fingers whatever and the final five is now on top and you can reveal this card any way you like so that was the trick, guys. If you need to, um, if you need, I hope I explained it good. If you need to watch it again, go ahead watch it as many times as you need to. It's a really fun trick to do. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's go ahead and try to get to 80 subscribers. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.